Hello, this is Stockfather, and I double made sure that it said this was recording. Uh, okay, so uh, this downtrend looks to be coming to an end. Uh, I'll double check here. I like using the Moxie indicator because it helps you kind of decide. Yeah, see, it's well, it had some up strength here, so. Um, seems to, you know, want to stay near this, this zone, um, but it may go into the red on the daily, this is the daily, sorry, and, uh, uh, but 30 means effort, so it's not, not standing up strong, like, like everybody's like, duh, <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, uh, when I saw this earlier, I had it marked as a buying climax. Here's a problem. I don't have a uh, volume on here. And uh, usually when I have volume on here, it's just white. But unfortunately, when you put it on there, it doesn't save. You just like don't like having colors because the colors don't really matter. Um, as you can see, um, uh, they pushed it up for a buying climax and sold. Um, maybe you can't see uh, as well. It's me, but they sold, did a range, accumulated some, um, uh, selling at the tops. There's a sell here. Where you want to see volume at is at the bottom. So they bought here, sold here, came down here. Uh, here's where they both bought the most to bring up. And they just, they really grabbed a bunch right before they kind of swung it around. Uh, and they brought it up for a UTAD immediately when it got here, they sold it off, and you can even see here on the 30 minute bar that they sold off a whole second bar when they were at the, the top. They almost sold everything on their first push, and then they came down a little bit. And when they came back up, they did sell the rest. See, that's why you don't want the, the colors on here because it confuses people. The green they think means up, and red means down. That is not how it works, it's not how it works at all. Uh, Red just means that it was lower than the previous candle. So uh, that's why I keep everything white. Then you can you can see where the volume is. If the volume's at the top, that usually means it's distributed. Uh, also, uh, this rounding off thing is a very common thing with distribution. It gets kind of a rounding off effect before it starts to really drop. That's why when it was here, I was able to see that um, based off of how it came up, which was a really strong way up, and did a buying climax, then did a continuous up thrust, up thrust, and then a UTAD, that it was going to come down like a UTAD normally does, where it comes down. This is usually more round. Uh, I guess it don't really matter. They just brought it up to sell off of more. Uh, and they came down here. Now, at this level here, uh, as Booksy's uh, hopefully stated, uh, this is the first uh, point where it can turn around. Um, so uh, what usually happens is a, um, oh, I'll, I know exactly what I'll do. This would be the best way. I, it was like when, when I saw it, I, I thought AMC had one of the best examples of a, uh, LS, uh, a part where it can turn around. Okay. I really, I really think this is like one of the best things. <laughs> if you had the moxie back then, you would have known you were in trouble. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, so as you can see, it has this rounding off part before it drops. Right, but then it has the second LPSY, and this part right here, when it comes up, this is the part where it could catch. The problem with this was is it didn't have anything to catch off of. It didn't have anything down to. Uh, it was 14 at the time, so uh, I was saying it was going to fall to 14. I think I fell to 12, uh, but I was using this as a as a catch point, right? Uh, so. Uh, this is what an LPSY looks like, right? So an LPSY comes down here, makes a second LPSY, 
and then it can catch and go up, or it can continue downwards and form a new range. Ours continue downwards and form a new range, but it could have caught right here. It's kind of like uh, where double bottoms come from because they make kind of a double bottom. Um, let's see how close we are to it right at this point. Okay, so going back to where we are, um, that, that really is a weird one. It's like a, a UTAD and an LPSY uh, on the daily. I'm sorry I haven't looked at this yet, so uh, it's kind of interesting. It's like they did the same same move, but just, uh, as Booksy said, a smaller iteration, would say a smaller iteration. So they could be catching here. It does look like it's starting to flatten out. And this is the, I think was the most likely or least likely place that we catch a camera. I don't know. I can't even remember now. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> we can go to the point of figure in a minute and, and kind of look that up. Uh, but I just want people to kind of see this, uh, what you're, what you're looking for. Um, so, uh, yes, when it shoots up with this kind of magnitude and starts to have a lot of volume at the tops, not at the bottom. See, at this bottom, if this bottom had a lot of volume, then it would have the potential catching, and, and this would be uh, possibly a sign of strength, and then it's going to go up. So uh, keep that in mind. And as you can see here, there's a lot of volume here. This is like stopping action. It's not it's not like this type of volume, but it's it's enough to say, okay, we're gonna stop it here. Stop it here. But, you know, we're gonna buy up some at this level. They feel like this is a pretty good price. Okay. Uh, they're not buying up a whole bunch. Uh, they may be deciding, you know, like this new composite operator may be deciding what they're going to do with it. Uh, did it go under six? I don't know. I'm sorry, I wasn't watching it today. I was, uh, nope, never went under six, I don't think. So, um, we'll look at the point figure to see how, how many O's there are and I see what the likelihood of it stopping here. But this, um, you have the, ex I, if, if you look at it, uh, this was an LPSY, which would have been more rounded, and this wasn't either. <laughs> this, that's, that's why this LPS Y looks weird is because it also has a UTAD on it. So it comes up high. It's not like a rounded off thing, which is normal. So maybe if this goes down any lower, you might have another one uh, if it catches anywhere. But see, this one actually had something on the side to catch. Now, if this does not hold, if it goes below 589, you're probably looking at it not catching until you get down here. Because this is the next level that you're going to look for it to catch at. I think it's a good possibility it holds here, but I have, you know, I'm not certain. I, it's really going to, you know, you're going to have to watch the volume really close. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the main thing. And usually uh, when you have a selling climax, you have huge ones like this, like all over the place. And when I did the hour-long video, I went through and showed everywhere that they bought uh, collecting volume on this thing. And then they brought it up and that this was enough volume uh, alone uh, that they sold on this part um, to make up for most of the volume that they had collected to get up there. So I did not get to record that because I didn't press the recording button, so I won't do that too much. Now I'm going to go to Spy really fast because I'm going to name this AMC and Spy or something like that. Um, uh, anyway, it was in an up, up channel, um, uh, and now it's... Um, Pretty much in the down channel. I kind of made it golden because, uh, like, um, the one thing, like, <laughs> 0.30 is strong on a Moxie indicator. This thing is all the way up to 11.44. But that's because it has so far to fall. It can fall a long way before they really start calling it bearish, right? Uh, this one, look at how green it was. It, it, it was even greener. And it was up here, and it fell all the way down here. <laughs> Actually, it was, wasn't was even until here that it turned red. So, SPY is a little different with the Moxie indicator. Um, I thought we were going to come up and form a new top. Still possibility. 
that this is just a fake out bear trap. Um, the S and P 500 is nearing or is in extreme fear right now, which could cause it. The only problem is that like everything else, I would think if they came down here for more supply and they've actually got a lower bar, uh, today than they've had, it's not looking good for it. So where would I expect the next stop? Uh, I would expect it to be here. So, uh, it's not no, it's not any surprise that they would intersect with this midpoint and it probably would kind of level out a little bit. Um, now the, the funny thing about it is once this doesn't hold, I don't think anything's holding it. I think it's just going to fall right down the range. Um, and, uh, that's going to be massive and down the two hundreds, which originally I was, you know, it was my bearish outlook for it until the uptrend, uh, till this place right here where they did a fake out. So here, right here, they did a fake out, but what did we just look at on AMC? It's a very similar pattern. Okay. So this is actually a more common, uh, looked, uh, looking, uh, uh, more common looking, uh, distribution pattern, right? So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, the buying climax, you have a very tiny up thrust, then you have a quite a big up thrust, then it goes flat and then you have this U tad and you can see with the volume that they were selling off at the top. So you, at this point, you know, it's coming down, right? And it comes down and usually right here, which is right on the line, you have a LPSY, which this is kind of rounded. Uh, it's iffy, uh, but this would be the norm. Then it would drop, uh, all the way down here. Well, at least to this level. And, and that would be, uh, the point where it might catch, right? Now, at that point, though, you're closer to the downside. Well, actually, you're probably right in the middle. Yeah, so you're right in the middle of the upside and the downside of this thing when it gets there. Um, it's just really crazy. This is like, this is a very weird time. We're right on the 200-day moving average. This is an hour, though. Uh, we can check the day, uh, daily again. Choo -choo -choo. Uh, as you can see, this could just take a... Uh, very similar uh, approach to the downside, right? You got this downside, and then you would have this downside coming down to uh, 300 some, and then I would expect little things down. I don't think it's going to like, uh, but it's not going to have the same stopping action here. Like this is not going to hold. Uh, if this doesn't hold, if this doesn't. If, if this line here doesn't hold, this line is definitely not going to hold. They're going to go more, more uh, down with it. So uh, this line is still, it's still in the cards. If this is a fake out, but it's if it's a fake out, it's a really good one. But this one had me fooled. Uh, you know, sometimes it does. Uh, they they can uh, fool anybody with this. I just want to show you. Um, uh, where that was, it was here and it dropped down and it made this, this was the point where it could catch. Right. But I was convinced that it couldn't catch. I'm not exactly sure why <laughs> at the time. I think, uh, uh, the cell volume, it is quite a bit, but also they bought up a lot right there. So, um, it's. I think I was convinced that they didn't make enough and they were just going to bring it up, just, uh, do an LPS Y and, and keep coming down with it. Uh, instead, uh, they made a, uh, this is kind of the level you could catch out. I would have thought it would have been down here, but it is kind of in this zone. It also marks this area over here, kind of clears this hole. There's a whole empty space here, uh, where they didn't do any, uh, liquidity checking. So I think it was more of a liquidity check before they brought it up and then they started bringing it back up. But this was pretty convincing, but this isn't a sharp as fall as this. It's almost like the opposite happened. This dropped really fast. 
so they could bring it up and this shot up really fast so they could bring it down anyway uh, now let's uh, move over to point figures okay so when you go to stockcharts.com it's totally free totally free uh, you can mark this stuff sharp charts which are if you get used to using them uh, best of luck I, <laughs> I I'm not too much on uh, um, uh, indicators anyway but I really don't like RSI and some of the stuff they give you for free on there. so anyway point and figure we're going to go AMC first and see what it looks like today plus we can read if they have any you know call outs on it okay so on December 5th they had a high pull warning interesting I think I when I posted that I I noticed it but didn't say anything about it that is uh usually a case where it's going to fall down uh it just means it has too many x's uh with not enough buildup. it's uh you know usually uh, uh most uh, like this was a uh, a uh, high pole warning when it got up here uh so the fact that this got it became a high pole warning uh it's pretty good now i would definitely say it's gonna you know it could go to 599 but I think for sure we're gonna make a O here uh, if it drops down one lower we might be in a spring mode and then we can start doing a count uh, if it came down here uh, you would do a count of these X's instead of going sideways so it'd be one two three four five six seven that's times three because we're using a three-point reversal so that's 21 boxes but it would be from five. So you would start at five, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It'd be about fourteen fifty. Uh, if it was to turn around now. Now, if we get more of a long pause. Like this one here, where you can count it this way, um, and you can you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, you're gonna have a much. Actually, I think it's eight. It might be nine. I don't know. Nine times three is. Uh, I ain't gonna go into that right now. But anyway, you count from the bottom, and then you, you put X's up. Uh, at the time, I think. Either I was two dollars off or straight on. I can't remember um, uh, when Booksy and I did our thing. We had to go back to whatever date that was, and uh, and uh, Booksy and I both gave our prediction. And we, were, we were both pretty close. One of us, I think, was dead on. The other one was two dollars off. I don't know if I was the two dollar off one or the dead on. I think that's how it was. So anyway, we were both pretty close on that on that call out. Um, so that is uh, AMC. So now let's pull up SPY. Because on anything that you're into, you're probably going to want to look at point and figure. It gives you so much information. Um, now some of the patterns. Uh, this also had a high pole warning uh, yesterday. Hmm. I can kind of see it now. Yeah. So it didn't have really anything that this was building off of, and it went up a little bit too high. Um, and you can almost see where it like wants to fall down to, right? Just to test out the next level. Uh, now, uh, doing a count on this going down, it could be huge. You, you might be able to count it all the way from over here. I uh, would have to look into that and see how, how much count that we could get from that. Clearly thinking he's, you know, got a brand new baby and he was doing my PNF for me. So, because I'm bad at it. I will say that I am not the best at PNF. Um, I've actually learned more from clearly than, you know, um, of some of the stuff I was doing wrong because he was reading a book on it. And for some reason, I, you know, I don't know how I, I don't know how I learned it. It's been so long. 
I'm pretty sure it wasn't off YouTube, though. I think it was out of a magazine. Like, what is PNF? And there was some other, yeah, because it was some other Asian thing that was very similar to this, too, where uh, some people just do this. Um, so the let's uh, let's talk about that for a second. How you only use PNF is um, once you make three X's, you buy that it's going up. Dun, 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 dun. And you don't sell until you get three O's. And you don't buy till you get three X's. It keeps going. And you don't sell till you get three O's. So you could see you would make a little bit of money that way. Uh, if that's all you did. Now there's people that's all they do. They only use PNF and uh, I just use it more of a verifier of of what I'm seeing. And now that I look at this, I can see a complete push back up to um, up to here. But uh, I think it would be ridiculous to, to imagine it going up to uh, uh, 432. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem realistic from point figure charts I've seen. Anything's possible, but it just doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem right to me. So, um, yeah, so there is the, also the problem, uh, let me go back to AMC, that uh, sometimes in Wyckoff, uh, uh, there is uh, no spring. Now, in this case, I think before they run it, they're going to have a spring. And there's also the possibility, which I had to say in Spy earlier, uh, when you're counting point and figure, right? When you're counting this to see how high it can go, you can accidentally be counting the wrong direction. It could actually be the count going down. For example, here's the count going down. And uh, if you want to get the top of this, uh, you would, uh, I think it would go with these O's. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven O's times three is 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 so it was a little off so it may be a count from a different way but it's pretty damn close I mean it's within uh, a dollar on that count so you know uh, but uh, when I was counting this I thought we were going to go up I discounted the split and I was counting counting it going upwards and it looked quite a bit different than it does now so uh, say lovey okay but if you can kind of see in point figure how they they normally they're ne normally never flat right they don't uh, on all these on amc the the x's and the o's either goes one past or in some cases well no yeah looks like just one past it never uh, this one had now nope it went one pass so like like there's there's usually a one space gap see how it like, goes like this it doesn't come down it's flat well right now it's flat i guess there is one example here where it's flat this part right here so it could be similar to this where it could stop immediately but i think we'll get that extra o down um uh, it's usually the case because that's where they're picking up most of their liquidity, uh, the lower prices, and you know they just ain't emptied their shares out to retail, uh, so now they got to buy them back. And when you see the volume start to really come up, 
uh, especially if they do a steep drop like in the in the morning or something and try to scare retail which is so weird to me because like how do people hold on since 50 and then get scared at five or um maybe it's new retail or day, day trader i don't know i don't know what's going on why it does that um uh, but usually it doesn't stop right here if you can see there's only one example on all of amc this right here uh i can't find another example yeah it just rarely 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 happens uh so much though i don't even think i left a version of that happening or maybe i, I said that was the least likely <clears throat> so um but i guess it could happen <laughs> there's one example so never say never um but it usually doesn't and you, and it, and it would look awkward uh to start seeing x's uh come back up um uh, so imagine uh you know i kind of stand in the uh, five to seven range again for a little bit. Um, but that's good overall. The long, the longer you held off, the longer you hold off down here, the longer the count you'll get. And, you know, once you, you know, get a pretty good size, you might be able to get a pretty good run. And if you can get a pretty good run, uh, it might actually cause the shorts to, you know, start to squeeze this time. Maybe there's some new shorts that, you know, got in. I don't know. Anything's possible, um, you know, um, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, bearish on AMC, by the way. I know sometimes I sound bearish. People accuse me of it and, you know, so you were the only one seeing the downside, but I'm just being <laughs> realistic and I don't want, you know, I'm not doing it for views or doing it for uh i don't care if anybody even follows me i mean i do because of the whole point of me doing this is to, to help people and uh you know it's the whole reason that booksy did it and the whole reason we decided to do the discard discord and um you know it's uh you know it, it wasn't at all you know it's like uh uh <laughs> it's much easier to be somebody that says we're going to go to the moon all the time uh, than somebody that's being honest with their TA and, you know, trying to tell you exactly what they see. And I can be wrong. I, I've been wrong. Like I was wrong up here, you know, uh, I did pull out in time and try to move into puts, but, uh, for some reason my broker shut off my puts. So I didn't even get to make my money back. Um, I just had a bad time up here. Uh, the, uh, uh, but I seen it coming after I learned more about the split. Uh, it was terrible. It sucked. Uh, but you know, uh, at the time I could only, uh, go off of what I, I was, the, the knowledge I had. Um, uh, so I just want to say that, I, you know, it's like, I know Booksy and the other TA guys that I've talked to, uh, um, that do the TA stuff, uh, clearly thinking and Rico and the people in the you know, the discord that just, you know, everybody, you know, we're just trying to help. And my, my part's like educational and, uh, barely enter entertaining anymore. Nobody's entertained right now. But, uh, one thing is, is, uh, you can go back, um, you can go back and watch my selling, um, selling, uh, covered calls. I don't know what it's called. Maybe I'll do a new one on it. But down here, if you got a lot of op, if you have a lot, if you're holding a lot of AMC, and let's say I, we're going to go to 14, let's say that. All right. So you could buy, okay, let's, I'm going to do two hypotheticals here. You have a thousand calls or a, th a thousand shares of AMC, hypothetically. <laughs> so you have a thousand shares and you buy, um, calls for uh 14 on the near date right after spring is you know um you know two weeks out or three weeks out or a month out something like that you want to give yourself some time uh because point figure does not so the spring is going to be at between 550 and 5 so once we have the spring and it's going to shoot up um to let's say just 14 if that's the point figure call then you buy as many calls as you can for 14 once you get to the 14, you sell those car calls. You got quite a bit of money. 
You then turn around and sell Calgary calls for next year at, I don't know, whatever you're comfortable with. You know, for me, I would sell them at 19 or 18. Because uh, uh, the worst thing that can happen is that they buy the calls from you and uh, the 14 is wrong and it goes up to 18. And now they can, um, you know, switch your uh, uh, cover calls out. So you want to go as far out as you can because you'll make the most money. Because implied volatility will be when it goes, when it runs up from five to, uh, let's say five to 14 uh, in a short amount of time, uh, the implied volatility is going to be really high. So the price of, the value of calls are going to be really high. So when you when you sell them the cover cover calls, which is a thousand, so you would sell ten. Uh, let's say you sell it two two years out. Well, for nineteen dollars two years out, it's going to be a ginormous amount of money. And then after about a week, this thing starts to come back down from fourteen, and then the implied volatility drops dramatically. It goes from like. 30% to 500% back down to 30%. And that's a massive amount when you're talking about big money. So it's a good way to make money selling, selling a couple of cars. You could sell 10 of them. Now, what you would want to do is pick a price that uh, if it did run to that, you wouldn't mind selling all your shares. Or while you're down here in the five and sixes, pick up, pick up just enough cover crawls to do that when it runs up. That's my advice with that. Um, that's basically what I would have said with that. You have to go back to another video. Um, so I don't think there's anything else I really wanted to go over tonight. I, um, I kind of uh, let loose of my hiatus after I got the alert that uh, Spy had dropped too, too much, uh, which I wasn't expecting to get the alert that direction at all. Um, so, uh, yeah, I broke the the trend line and yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, it's broken it before. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm off a little bit, but, um, it's actually more like here. Um, uh, but still it's below it. It's not good. It's not good at all. Um, unless it's a complete fake out. Um, I think we're still, we're going to come down at least here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to probably meet the middle line of this thing and play around a little bit. Maybe have a reaction off of it. But I think it's still going to come tumbling down. That's where I'm at right now. Maybe I'm overly bearish. The market's overly bearish right now. I think the uh, when I looked at the CNN fear indicator, it was something like uh, fear or strong fear or extreme fear. I can't remember which. Uh, but uh, it was too earlier to today when I looked at it. Um, Anyway, I feel like I'm wasting your time now, but I appreciate you guys watching and catch you on the flip side.